But without that relationship with the Holy Spirit, Christ will be right there in front of you. God will be doing miracles right there in front of you. You will not be able to access that spiritually and translate it into full meaning. This is God at work. And so without the Holy Spirit, we walk in blindness. As but we walk in blindness. Without the Holy Spirit, we walk in lack of knowledge. We could call it foolishness. Where God reveals things to us and gives us the way, shows us the way, but we don't see it. We don't see his instruction. We don't see his signals. We don't see it because we are not in touch with the spirit that translates these things to us in the physical. So in this moment, in this heavenly orchestrated moment, Mary Magdalene is desperate looking for Christ. She has forgotten what he has said. And she's desperate looking for him. He's right there in front of her. But he doesn't, she doesn't recognize him. She, do, she sees him but does not recognize him. And why are you weeping? Why are you troubled? And so in a world today that is upside down, inside out, without the help of the Holy Spirit Amen. to navigate through this world, we will be troubled, we will be weeping, we will be anxious, we will be looking for answers, where answers are right in front of us. Amen. And Christ says, why are you crying? Why are you weeping? Why are you troubled? Who are you looking for? Amen. Who are you looking for? What are you looking for? Amen. But the very thing that you are looking for and crying for is right here. Amen. But who, why are you troubled? And that is when the sense of joy and the sense of peace has been taken away from us. Such that even when God has given us the things that are supposed to make us joyful, we don't get that sense of joy because the Spirit of God is not with us. Amen. We are here today to say, let us cling on to you, Holy Spirit. Amen. So that we may understand the things as they are happening. So that our hearts will not be troubled. Do not be troubled. Let your hearts not be troubled. Amen. But help us more in this time. In this time when there is so much desperation. We are looking for answers for almost everything in our lives. If you think about it, we are looking for answers for almost everything in our lives. Amen. Whether it is relationships, whether it's spirituality, whether it's finances, whether it's work and meaning, whether it's political, we are looking for, whether it's safety and security, we are looking for answers, we are looking for solutions for almost everything that is called life. No one has an answer amongst us. No one has it right and perfect. Hey, Basalwan, see Hamba, Engati, Kutlegluni, Legonke, but but you know, see appeal and over who has so wins. But no one has it perfectly sorted out. We are all looking for answers in every single thing. Amen. People are going to a plain field and, and, and finding stones and saying it is diamond. And we wish it is, it is diamond, right? Because perhaps that would be hope for our people. Amen. And I really hope it is diamonds for them. But if you've studied geology, it tells you good diamonds are made. But now we don't know, right? Now we don't know. It could very well be diamonds. 
either through a miracle or through the natural cause. It could very well be diamonds. But the level of desperation that we've come to is incredible. And in all of these things, we need to say, Lord, give us your Holy Spirit. So that we may understand. And so that we may have joy, even in this time. I'm not suggesting that people must find joy in poverty. I'm not suggesting that people must find joy in a time of conflict. But I'm suggesting that people need to elevate themselves, and you can't do it yourself. It's the Spirit of God. But be elevated above these things. Amen. So that there might be so much chaos going on around you. Hey, I have an image, an image in mind where you are walking out and, and the world behind you is in a mess. And you come out and you say, but I am fine. Amen. I'm fine. I have got so much joy and I've got so much peace. Why do you have peace? That is the peace that the Bible talks about. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen. And that is, but how can you have peace and joy when things are like this? And you'll be like, because my peace does not come from these things, Amen. but my peace comes from the Holy Spirit Amen. that tells me what the outcome will be Amen. before it is there. Amen. And because I have seen the outcome, because I have seen the end, because I have seen the, the summit, the end of the mountain. I find joy Amen. Amen. every single day. I wake up feeling energized. You, you, you could be struggling and you are not employed right now. But you say, you know what, but I am not desperate. I am not stuck. I don't feel stuck. I don't feel depressed. Amen. I am walking in joy because the spirit of God says to me, it is done for you. Amen. It is done for you. Just give me time. I need to go back and intercede. Amen. When you have the relationship with him, he says, no, I need to go back. Amen. So Mary Magdalene is struggling with her emotions, with her grief. And Christ is right there. And she says, but... Christ looks at her. And Christ looks at her. Christ looks at her with so much compassion, with so much mercy, with so much love. How can you not see me? And then she says a word. But there is something about the way he called her. Amen. That was familiar. Amen. There's something about the way he called her. That spoke to her spirit. There's something about the way he called her. So she didn't respond and say, how do you know me? How do you know my name? There's something personal. Amen. That is what the spirit of God has come here to remind us. Uguti, I want you to know who you are known. And I want you to know who you are. So that when your name gets called... It doesn't feel like it's just any other person, but you can identify, you can relate to Guti. This is someone who knows me from the depths of my being. Amen. And so when he said, Mary, Maria, Amen. she looks at him again the second time. She says, Raboni. On this day, the Spirit of God called us by name. On this day, the Spirit of God got to know us by name. Amen. Amen. On this day, the Spirit of God reminded us who we are at the depths. That when we were named, even by our parents, we were named. But Uma Sile Twala, Kutiwa Babongi Papa, Tisaka Menliga Moya. And our names were called out in the spiritual world. Amen. Something else happened. Amen. Something else happened. Our names took on a new meaning so that when the angel of God, wherever he appears, wherever he appears, Amen. like when he said, Abraham, Abraham, Abraham. And for a moment, he didn't understand. And he says, but from now on, you'll be called Abraham. Amen. Something happened to his name. Amen. That today, when you call on his name, you call on the glory of God. Amen. 
because something happened to this individual. Amen. How do I tell you that you are not just a human being? How do I tell you that you are not just a suffering servant that's struggling? How do I tell you that you are not just an average person? Or panda, you and Jenga to be pante or wherever you are. How do I remind you that you are much more than that and far bigger than that? And God tonight wants you to remember that because on the 17th of June, 1917, Amen. he called you Amen. his child. Amen. And being his child means you've got access to all of these things. Amen. You might say to me, but Mholi, you don't understand. You don't understand the Simo Sinjan like I am. I don't understand. But there's something I know. There's something I know. It's beyond understanding it. I know it. Amen. You are far, far, far more than Isimo Sasekaya. Jenga Manji. You are far bigger than that. Amen. And what God wants to see tonight on your face is that smile. Amen. That says, I trust you, Lord. Amen. What God wants to see on your face tonight is that smile. That says, I know you've got my back. Amen. What God wants to see on your face tonight is that confidence. That says, I know you did it all for me. And even if I were to leave this earth without seeing some of the things that I'm hoping for, but I know that you've been good to me. Amen. And I have hope that I will see you. And my hope is in the fulfillment of all of these things. Amen. Because even some of the people, most of the people who have all the things that you dream for and hope for, are still looking for the same thing. The people that have all the things that you are hoping for and dreaming for and praying for are still looking for the same thing. And that is joy and peace. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of these things shall be added unto you.